Today I'm going to be assisting you on making very clean and crisp image and video quality in your Krita projects. But first things first, we're going to need a couple of settings to do before we get started. Okay, Windows I, in order to go into Windows settings, type in about your PC on the search bar and already it would show the amount of RAM that is already installed in your PC. By hitting Control shift exit you are able to enter in Task Manager. Go into Details. Find the name krita.exe. Right click. Set Priority. Choose High. Change Priority. And there you go. However, this is a temporary change because it will reset back to normal once you uh, clicked off of Krita, but yeah, that's the temporary solution. Now I got this example right here from a save file that I stored in for my latest animation. It's uh, between an animation of 30 seconds with normal sketching, yet the memory limit has already reached its max. Which, if I go to configure Krita, under performance, it would show that the memory limit is already at 1. This is bad because you're being very restricted towards the amount of memory you're giving towards Krita. Which, this would result into multiple crashes and, and a lot of horrible performances that you would receive when dealing with your art projects with either animation or digital art. Now moving on to rendering your animations, you would need to go to um, render animation, click on these three dots as uh, render as, and copy these exact same um, settings I have for uh, the best image quality you can have. If you change to the, any other ones, then it will most likely not work or it will crash whenever you render it as a um, as a video. So that's that's quickly about it. Now I'm pretty sure some of you already know how to render your uh, digital art pieces. So by just hitting edit and export, <clears throat> you would already know how to like name your certain types of like file stuff. But when you hit save as a PNG uh, JPEG, uh, the quality should be boosted all the way up in order to uh, successfully have like a very clean and crisp visuals while having smoothness all the way down. It basically blurs the quality down and also having like stipulating into best quality and I don't know about the other two but once you've done that <clears throat> you would have like a clean crisp comparison compared to the smoothest on and smoothest off now it's very minimal difference but as you can see there is some clearness towards having the quality and smoothness changed with my settings that i have <clears throat> Now, again, if you want to change your stuff but put it as a PNG, you would label it as a PNG and do the same process. But have compression all the way uh, set to 1. This would mean that the quality of the image won't be lost due to the amount of compression it is being used in that file. Granted, the, style, the file size of your um, digital art piece would be bigger uh, compared to the compression of the image that you have originally, which you have to be mindful of what aspect ratio you're using to for your digital art pieces. When scaling up most of your art pieces, it would most likely take Krita for a couple of seconds to render most of your um, image to upscale. This would lead to more of your memory being used, more and also, whenever you render your photos, the file size of it would be most likely uh, be twice as the size as the other two. Just right now, when I render it, it's 2.00 megabytes of uh, file size it has. 
this is pretty big compared to the other two so you have to be mindful of what aspect ratios you're using for your digital art pieces and that concludes this video if you're still confused about the um inner workings of Krita under performances i will leave a link down in the description about the article that i just found that helps me with uh figuring out my settings for um Krita for making good quality animation or uh, digital art pieces but yeah hopefully this video finds you um very informed about uh, this software and hopefully you won't struggle with Krita anymore with uh, rendering wise. So, goodbye!